Yeah. Let's Again, like you said, how well? How old are we? Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> but, but I feel it's... like in the business, though, I actually, you guys, I had uh, a manager, like slash agent, say that sometimes celebrities start beef with other people on Twitter just to keep things kind of like rolling yeah, it's and to genius. drive like traffic to wherever they are. You know, you got the the finale coming up, a mask singer. You know, he's on, you know, Wild and Out, Nick Cannon. And even when he said, when Nick said, what only that, a girl? few hours m left, Marshall, Where he actually dropped his diss track. Yeah, he, he actually had the Wild and Out audience in the back of, of the Instagram right. post it's while he genius. was saying that. So I think maybe, see, see, there it is. I think it's his way of saying like, come on, Marshall, AKA Eminem, come on my show and let's do a rap battle for maybe right. ratings, I don't right. know. Which I think But is this is where this gets weird. Okay. A lot of people feel like Eminem is a goat in the game. He's one of the greatest lyricists. His pen is yes, crazy. He is. His pen He's is amazing. nuts. Yeah. So okay. a lot of people felt like, Nick Cannon was starting a beef with somebody who may have been out of his league. Yeah, that too. A lot of people, that's what they're uh, saying. And also, I don't, to be honest, I did read some of the stuff. I didn't <laughs> like what Nick was beefing with him about because he did say something about the adopted child, and I think that was out of bounds. So if you, if for me, if you're going to, yeah, bringing the children, like, you know, yeah. you don't rap, rap, but don't bring the kids into it. Well, yeah. there's a few more things out of bounds, too, because also somebody from Nick's, Camp allegedly, or somebody allegedly from Nick's camp tweeted also, RIP, uh, oh, that um, Juice World shouldn't have died, that it should have been. Oh, uh, okay, that's not okay. Which is now, also now you're taking real, it too far. Real, that's real. not okay. That's the thing Terrible. that it gets too far, but yeah. as long yeah. as it stays on paper, fine. But when it gets, you know, like, you gotta watch the beef. Even though you have beef, you still need to watch yes. it. So. But why do I, I love rap battles? I really I haven't seen one in a long time when I it comes to like real hip hop. Regardless yeah. if you if you've got skills on the mic or not, this what is your chance to show one? it. So I really like. Like I'm sorry, go. like like even like Drake, Meek Mill, Remy, Nicki Minaj. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but like the music was good. Yeah. yeah. Like when you that were sitting there listening, out. you sitting there like, oh my god, what are they saying? Yeah. You know, I think if you're a true hip hop fan, you enjoy this sort of thing. But I think. People are having an issue, one, with when does it go too far? Yeah. yeah. When is it too far? And I think the second question then becomes, who are you beefing with? And is it the same beef that's just been going yeah. on for so Like, just how many times are we going to have the same Mariah over conversation? I wanted to hear what, what you guys had to say. Ed Daniela Alexandra said, I like Nick Cannon, but he ain't one to be dissing Eminem, who is one of the greatest rappers of all time, and Nick hates to see it. At Willis Mommy Wifey said, I love the whole trolling thing he's doing. It's totally nice, and I think it's all in fun. Yeah, I think it's all in fun, too. He's, she, this person, he, it's totally nice. <laughs> okay. Oh. I think, love you, Willie Mommy Wifey. I think it's all in fun, but I do believe Nick tends to go too far. Like, you know, even with his interviews, and we had talked about this when he was um, interviewing Keisha Cole and her younger uh, uh, baby daddy. Elder. You know, it's like, it's like, it's, it's sometimes he can go too far, so you just have to watch but it. But if That's you all. Google the Eminem diss, it's like very straightforward. I haven't, actually haven't heard Nick talk about M for a long time. I felt yeah. like this was dead, and now this has all just yeah, been resurrected. It. But if we're honest, it's because Eminem put this rap but out. But really, when you think about it, it, it's all over Mariah. So that means Mariah got some good good, all right? Somebody said, wait, you guys got to hear this. I saw this tweet that said <laughs> that Eminem is going to respond by doing a diss to Nick Cannon over the All I Want for Christmas instrumental. <laughs> and that's the thing. But now that Mariah, you said Mariah should do Mariah it. Mariah not with none of them. That's and how and she, she doesn't she's say anything. And she doesn't say, goal. has she ever said no, anything? But that is Nick. I don't recall. The mother of Nick's children. Yeah, yeah so but I she's not with him, though. So I he comes to her yeah. defense. Yeah. yeah. So I Got get it. that part. Okay. All right. She, she fine. She well, fine. Well, that was an interesting Moving way on. to start girl chat. I know, right? In the watching chat. <laughs>